Water. Yeah, corn up to those big bull moose and tell you, I didn't give them a touch. I didn't stop them. They stopped right there. <laughs> they don't like it. That's, uh, but it's, it's, you know, it gets your dogs back. I mean, we got timber wolves and stuff up where we are. Yep. But, and you know, when your dog's overnight in the bush, you want they'll to help kill them. them. They'll kill them quick. Oh, yeah. Well, when I, um, when I went deer hunting this year, I had one of my females dug out that had puppies twice as big as these. They were eight weeks old. Yeah, she dug out, and the coyotes killed two pups that night. They come back the next night and tore one of my beetles all apart. It cost me 1200 bucks at the back to get her stitched up. So, man, they're bad here. And that's just coyotes. Yeah. Two of those are fixing in a hurry. <laughs> they're fairly subdued now. Which is... <laughs> like I said, I... I the black and tan, he was a big, I think they were more show black and tan, because I know there's two versions of them. Oh, yeah, so he was the old-fashioned long ear, they call them. Big, long ears, yeah, yeah. 107 or 10 pounds. Yeah, that's even on the light side, so it's a male. Drooling. Yeah. Machine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, his sister was a little bit, well, a lot better hunter, but he never actually would hunt. Uh, I see, yeah. see, always seem to be in the hunt, but never... Some of them are like that. Yeah, some of them are like that. You do, normally. Some of them, you know, there's a red raccoon in a lot of them, and they won't say off until you know, the next day. You know, it up. But uh, this, <laughs> the, the red pony I had, he was just something else, just a fierce hunter. Yeah, good. I had a backyard, I mean, I had a pond, and like, just one a little patio pond. Yeah. That had water. He uh, would tree a coon at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'd have to go with the flashlight, and I'd use CD-22s. Taking out the morning. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. And I'd just grab them and shake them. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to, uh, I had red bones probably 40 years ago. Or, yeah, about 40 <laughs> years ago, I was raising red bones, and yeah, I did a lot of coon hunting back then when I was younger. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of, kind of. I have quite a few other hounds now too, but I really, that was, they were my first hounds that I bought was a red bone and a bread. So I had, uh, I had two there that I kept all the time at least. <laughs> I see. But, uh, well, I, I've been looking at you guys for a couple of years. I like, I was, and just never had the money. Uh -huh. I had this dog that was getting of age and I yeah. said, he'd make a beautiful training dog. Yeah. And then something would come up and I was like, oh. So, I mean, I've kept my eye on your, your site, and finally I've moved here and kind of into the semi retire mode now. Mm -hmm. And uh, be nice, uh, be nice if you have another dog, and the sooner you can get them running, the better. The, like the younger, the better. I had, uh, I got some blue ticks back there. They started at, uh, well, I had them run deer back here with, with another beagle at five months old. Wow. And at six months old, I took them back uh, moose hunting with us just to get them some time in the bush, and they were both running deer on their own. Uh, while we were moose hunting, and then I took them back, of course, deer hunting, and they were great too. They're, yeah, so that's that's really early for a big dog. So to me, I always I always figure the quicker you can get them started, the better dog to make. <laughs> so uh, these are both males. <laughs> yes. The only boys left. Hey guys, <laughs> kind of cute. Because <laughs> you have to have the cuteness factor, even if you're having a hunting dog. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best companions. Like, what's that? That's a Winnie the Pooh. Can you hunt the Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> it's nice to see too. You're getting like. From out east, like all over, all over. We send them to uh, we send them to BC. We send them all over. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people actually trying to get us in the states, but it's hard to send them to the states. Uh, you can't legally cross the border with them until they're four months old. Oh. They they've got a thing on where they don't want any any pups till they're four months old. They well, they want them with the rabies shots. I guess is that the deal, Blossom? And they can't have that before the four months? Or what's now, the, now, they've, now they've changed the rules, but they're very confusing. Yeah, so yeah. It, it appears you can now cross the border without them having rabies, but I need a clarification on that. Okay, yeah, that was, yeah, that was something I guess we were looking at. Because, yeah, right now. yeah they're, they're funny. At the border. But, yeah, we have a lot of people wanting our dogs out of the States, but we've tried a couple of times, and 
a couple of times we've got them across, but with uh, sometimes the people have came and got their own and they held up at the border for like four hours, getting jerked around, and, and then they finally just let them go. It's anyway, it's just not good. And uh, well, the, the, our border is the same though. Like I, I, I imported some dogs from way down lower in the states, and uh, it's really at the border. It's like you know you got receipts and everything, but they're acting like. You know, that, that's quite a difference in the color. They're, they're two guys. trying to make sure you're paying all the tax. And it's like, and I was. <laughs> that was the scary part. Both times, but they still grill you and hassle you for a couple hours. I mean, it's kind of like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the boys in this litter would have been a good choice. They're all just amazing temperament, amazing color. Just. Gorgeous representatives of the red bone breed for sure. <laughs> this guy's extra saucy though. <laughs> and I mean, I, I've never, well, I guess my black and tan, he was young, but I think he was even older. I'm going to say he was older than definitely eight weeks. Yeah. When I got him. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, so I've never actually had a puppy, had a, a yeah, <laughs> something like this. Mm -hmm. They're bad news. <laughs> well, I, I probably, like my daughter has a poodle, whatever, and uh, uh -oh. she says, are you sure? She says, you know what it's like to house train? I said, not really. But then she says, every two hours, Dad. Every two hours, you're up. <laughs> um, as a puppy, but not when they're older. No. She no. said, I think. Now, and then. I think they sleep, they'll sleep, you know, if you, if you put them out, like before you go to bed at night, they'll sleep most of the night. You'll hear them whining maybe at five or six in the morning. I mean, like, you don't have to get up all through the night every two hours. That's okay. kind of what I thought. Oh, heavens she, no. She's <laughs> I'll be sure to send you some training info and stuff, even, you know, just so you can review it, so you have an idea of. Well, I know they're very hard-headed dogs. They, uh, smart. They try to outsmart you. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> the one I had, I had, oh, he just he was an escape artist. Mm -hmm. They're hard to keep a collar on. Um, I know that because their heads kind of, their bodies, their necks get big and their heads are fairly small. Yeah. Slip. Yeah. And roll, the collar will roll off. But, uh, now, my, yeah. mine are pretty good, though. I, I These ones, I, the lady was the worst. I, she was my one I had years and years ago. And she had a big neck and a little head. And man, she'd slip a collar. She was the worst. But yeah, these, like guys, these guys are getting hour and a half. Oh, that little guy is a hoot. He's cracking up. What are you doing? <laughs> Dogs. And about uh, 70 pounds is their yeah. 70, 75? Yeah, the mom, the mom she's she's not a, a big red bone. Um, she's probably only about probably 55. Jed will hit 75 or so when he's, <laughs> oh. he's, he's young right now. He's, uh, <laughs> have to he's get just about a year and a Every quarter. time. This is his first letter. Um, and, uh, I'm really hey, happy with him. what are you doing? Um, and he's a nice dog. <laughs> now his true character is showing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can't hold it in for long. <laughs> Those bite. <laughs> to hunt big cats i've got an old cat which i don't know whether he's, every day he's eating less and less he's 20 some years old so i'm kind of hoping well not really hoping <laughs> funny <laughs>
Oh, got the crinkly part of that octopus. <laughs> figure out whether I want vinegar or just a little bit of <laughs> Oh man. He's a going concern, that boy. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> and I don't think uh, as he get older, I don't think he'd be uh, he'd be cowtown to his bigger brothers. I think he'd be a handful. Mm. He'll catch up in size, no problem. <laughs> he might be smaller than the biggest of them. I mean... Um, but look at China. Mm. Yeah, true. She was a tiny little... Tiny. She's the tiniest little yeah, thing. She's, she's a good size. She's bigger than mom now, yeah. So, yeah, it's possible. Um, if the boning's there, then he can he can catch up, but... I mean, he's down a big, tall guy. I mean, so... He got medication all over his ears and his face. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you're seeing white dots on that puppy. Mm. Oops, can I find the puppy? I have the monkey. <laughs> I was thinking that was a bear. It's a monkey, isn't it? Yeah, okay. it's a, yeah, it's a, a monkey. Long-tailed bear, okay. <laughs> Where's you going to sleep now? Yeah, it's getting tired. Mm. They're just babies. It's got his cat. He's going to curl up with his cat. Still fighting sleep. <laughs> the other guy gave in already. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>